Thank you for tuning into today's powerful broadcast. Coming up next on Revival Time. You stay there criticizing and find fault, analyzing and scrutinizing and multiplying and subtracting and say who's right and who's wrong, which are bigger and which better. It doesn't matter. Judgment is on the land. Sit down, children. Jamaica don't need homiletics. And they don't need homiletics. And they don't, they, don't, they don't need the high dot and the T cross for their wicked, godless, and humanistic. It is thus said the Lord God, turn or burn. Somebody help me here. I said, turn or burn. Turn unto God, or you burn in hell fire. Turn to God, or you taste the judgment and the wrath and the indignation of the Almighty God. Turn a burn. Don't change that dial. We'll be right back. And he said, 2 Chronicles 20, 15, verse number 15. Hearken ye all Judah, all of America, all of Jamaica, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And thou, G.G., King Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you, Point to your neighbor and say, God shall be not afraid. Point to them and say, be not dismayed. By reason of this multitude. For the battle is not yours. But God. Tell your neighbor. The battle is not yours. Raise up your hand and pray for me. It's a, de a dangerous day today. My father used me for thy glory. And for thy honor. And for thy purpose. Destiny locator. Destiny helper. Locate your servant today. Locate your daughter, your son today. Wherever they are listening to this word. Locate them by the power of God. And draw them to your bleeding side. And let your hand of mercy, let your hand of favor, let your hand of grace and deliverance be extended to them today. In Christ's mighty name, and we give him a praise and be seated. Sit down. If God can't fix it, Nobody can tell your neighbor if God can't fix it. Nobody can.
if God can't control it, nobody can. If God don't hear your prayer and pull you out of the net that the enemy has set for you, nobody can. If God can't deliver you, nobody can. Sit down, children. Three nations. Three nations. Come up against King Jehoshaphat to wipe him out, to silence him, to defeat him, to destroy him, to annihilate him. Do you hear what I say? Nations, families, people are coming up against the church, coming against the people of the living God to annihilate us, to silence us, to defeat us, to quiet us down. But they forget one thing. I don't hear what you say. They forget one thing. That he is the most high. 800. 8,000. 747 gods. Do you hear what I say? 8,748. 47 8,747 gods in the Bible come up against the most high and I hear David question the most high why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain things the kings and the rulers of the earth have set themselves against God to defeat him to destroy him to silence him why do the heathen rage sit down children pray while you sit you pray while you sit don't sit down there looking at me morning, woman, for what we have in my morning that God may depend on. And the man of God said, after doing a feasibility study, three nations, children of Mount Sia, the Moabites, Hamanites, Come to eat us up. What shall we do? Hear me now. I'm going to preach here today. There's a plague. There's a pestilence. There's an uncircumcised Philistine. There's a plague. There's a pestilence. Unleashed. Globally. Not Jamaica alone globally say globally upon the world upon every nation under the sun and all I can hear is lockdown are you praying with me boy lockdown lock down the shops lock down the club Lock down the church. Lock down dance hall. Lock down everywhere. And when they lock down over here, the plague come over here. When they lock down over here, the plague come over here. And they lock it down for six weeks. And they lock it down for four weeks. And they lock it down for two weeks. And the plague is still raging. Sit down. 
Take time with Brother Gigi today. What God has given me is not easy. Sit down. Pray for me. Pray for Brother Gigi. You just sit down the choir. <laughs> I never know that I'd be living in a world where people don't call on God. I never know I'd be living in a world where people don't apply to the blood for cleansing. I never know I'd be living in a world where people would turn their back against God, turn their back against the church, away with God crucify him we have nothing to do with church we're not concerned with no church give us pleasure give us the world give us Barabbas give us pleasure give us pleasure give us the flesh give us Lucifer give us the devil I'm going to preach here today. So thieves was on the cross and said, come down. And when you come down, take us down with you. But there was another thief on the cross. He said, Lord, the world is against you. Lord, the crime crucify you. Lord, the cry reject you. But Lord, Lord, when you go into your kingdom, remember me in a world that is dark. The sun is shining, but it's dark. The moon is shining, but it's dark. The stars are shining, but it's dark. And I hear the people crying, crucify him, away with God, away with the church, away with the heavens, away with Jesus, give us pleasure, give us club, give us movie, give us movie, give us the world, give us the flesh, give us the devil, but I hear a few people I hear a few people. I hear a few people. So when no boys into thy kingdom, remember me. I said, go easy, son. I got the message. You can sit down there, but I got the message. You don't have to preach with me. I got the message. Remember me. Do I hear somebody say, Lord, remember me? Remember my household. Remember my family. We are slipping. We are sinking. We are going down to the pits of hell. Down destruction. Broad road. Without mercy. Without favor. Without grace. Without God. Say, Lord. Remember me. Sit down, children. Sit down. Lord, if when evil comment upon us, we don't ask we don't have to ask if when it is here if when the plague if when the virus if when the pandemic if when your judgment if when your wrath cometh upon the world will you remember me Do you hear any leader 
around the world say Lord remember my country do you hear any president any prime minister any your excellency saying Lord remember my country do you hear anybody say Lord have mercy on us I am asking you answer me All I hear is vaccine, lockdown. You lock down my church. You lock down my house. You lock down the club. You lock down the place. But you can't lock down my prayer. Somebody shout. Somebody shout you can't lock down my cry to Almighty God. Sit down, you. Let me cook this thing. Let me season up this thing. Do you hear anybody crying out? Do you see anybody coming to church? Very few people want to baptize. It's a godless, humanistic, secularistic, godless people. And God said, I'm not in any haste to lift the judgment. I'm not in any haste to lift the curse. I'm not in any haste to lift the virus. And they repented not. Do you see the nation of Jamaica repenting? Do you hear anybody crying out except the church people? Do you hear anybody say, Lord, have mercy upon me and upon my family? We want to be saved. We want to be right. Do you see anybody wants to do right? They don't want to wear the mask. When you go out in the street, the right in your head breathing down your throat. Nobody wants to keep no distance. Nobody, nobody. Don't care how the prime minister beg and plead. Nobody wants to wear a mask. Nobody wants to keep their distance. Much more to wash their hands. It's a godless and I wouldn't like to be ruling Jamaica at this time. I wouldn't like to be prime minister at this time. I don't grudge. I don't grudge the prime minister work at this time. Because what he has to do only God can help him. I hope you know God. I hope you're calling on God. I hope you can find God. I hope you can cry out. And God said, I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. I will give grace to whom I shall give grace. Sit down. Thank God you haven't closed the church. And God leave the ark or the gangplank open for seven days. We're on the seven days of grace. Prophetically, it could be seven weeks or seven years or seven months or seven days. Prophetically, we're under the extension of grace. Sit down, children. Pray with me. Let's go read with me now. If when evil cometh upon us as a sword, this is a sword and judgment or pestilence 
of famine. And we stand before thee in this house. Do you know where you are today? You are in the presence of the almighty Shekinah God. And he said if you lift up your voice and cry in your affliction I the Lord will hear and help you. Is that clear? Is that clear, Church of the Living God? Is that clear, Jamaica? Is that clear, Temple of Praise? Is that clear, people of the Living God? He didn't say, if you zoom, if you go satellite. He didn't say, if you go by wireless, he said, stand in my house. I don't hear nobody say nothing in my house. Preacher, you ever read that yet? Preacher that lock up the church and cast out the people. Have you ever read that yet? Brother Chairman, Brother President, have you read this scripture? Second Chronicles 20 verse 9. Have you read that? Please take out your Bible and read it. If you stand in my presence, for my name is in this house. And so David knew the value. David knew the power. David knew the command that was in God's house. And he cried out, send help from your sanctuary and strengthen us out of Zion. Send help. Holler on the airwaves. Holla help, Lord. Those of you who have joined me today, I said, Holla help, Lord. I don't see you doing nothing, woman, with your hand at your side. Say, Lord, help. Jesus of Nazareth send him to my house send him to my church send him to my ministry send him thank you so much send help to my finance no job send him to my kitchen no food send him to my life no health no strength send help to my family send help my children can't go to school send help my husband don't have any work my wife is staying up say lord send help i just have a young baby send help to my bank book it's almost empty I would I have to draw every week to eat to pay rent send help to my bank book send help to my home I don't feel well my pressure is gone up my sugar is gone up send up Lord
I don't care if you want. I don't care why you say today I'm going to preach it. I don't care if you're getting mad or glad. I'm going to preach it. Pestilence. Famine. Judgment. You want more judgment than this? We have never ever witnessed this international global judgment upon the world since we were born. Plagues and pestilence have come and virus and pandemic and epidemic has come. But never before have we witnessed a global lockdown. We have never seen it like this before. We have never been down this road before. We have never seen things like this before. And in your wickedness and your evil and your perversion and in your godlessness and in your worldliness, same way. In your soca, same way. Smoking and drinking and cussing and smoking ganja, womanizing, adulterizing, same way. You haven't learned anything. Kill policemen. Kill your neighbor. Kill people. Same way. You haven't learned anything. Come up, my church. You know, some of you are sleeping. I don't care if you sleep or you wake. I'm going to preach it. is no change in our lifestyle no change in our wickedness no change in our evil no change in our perversion if it came if Jesus came fix it nobody can if Jesus don't fix this pandemic, nobody can. If Jesus don't grant knowledge and wisdom and understanding to scientists, nobody can. For all things come from him. All good things come from Jesus. So today we're going to pray. Lord, the sword is upon us. Over in Europe this morning, a young man, fundamental is Islamic, killed, killed so many people, murdered so many people. In America today, last week, last Tuesday, instead of crying out to God and say, have mercy, we're fanning fire. We're fanning revenge. I said, we're fanning the flames of revenge. We are, flam we are fanning the flame of brokenness. We are, famine, we are fanning the fan of wickedness and evil and break up and shut up and shoot up and shut up. And nobody just said, Lord, have mercy. Come on, somebody. Nobody just said, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray, let us pray to the God of heaven, to the God of the universe, to the God of the universe, to the God of heaven. Let us pray and ask him for mercy. Lead our country, lead our land, lead our leader, lead our oh God. I see in New York they're boarding up. <laughs> Jesus. 
Have mercy, God. I'm going to preach it today. They're boarding up. Big stores are locking down. And boarding up. Think that can keep out God. Come on, somebody. Judgment is upon the land. The sword is upon the land. Pestilence is on the land. Famine and earthquake in... An earthquake in, in various places in Turkey. Earthquake is on the land. And this is the beginning of sorrow. You don't see anything yet. When God gets ready. So tonight, tomorrow, and the next day, and the next week, you will see trouble. You will see trouble. You will read of trouble. You will hear of trouble. May God help us. I don't hear anybody say, Lord, help us. Lord, help our leader. Help the Senate. Help the House of Representatives. Lord, help the White House. Help the Blue House. Help Poor House. Lord. Sit down. And now, Lord, if we pray and cry, what the church needs to do? What's the, what the church needs to do? Cry in our affliction. Not Lord when. Not Lord why. Say Lord what are you saying to me? I don't hear the church. Say, Lord, what are you saying to my family? What are you saying to Brother Gigi? What are you saying to my ministry? What are you saying? And if you can cry out, we will come out. If we can cry out, we will come out cry out unto the Lord whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered whether you will hear or forbear God said preach it whether you will accept it or reject it God said preach it and I'm going to preach it in good times in bad times preach it then thou will hear and help say Lord hear me when I cry from the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than I for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower for my enemies shout unto the Lord Christ the Lord help Help my children. Help my household. That's what you should do when you get home. Cry unto the Lord. Help my household. Help my children. Help my marriage. Help my prime minister. Help my country. Help my government. Help the Senate. Help the community. Help Jamaica land we love. Say help Lord.
You stay there criticizing and find fault, analyzing and scrutinizing and multiplying and subtracting and say who's right and who's wrong, which are bigger and which better. It doesn't matter. Judgment is on the land. Sit down, children. Jamaica don't need homiletics. And they don't need homiletics. And they don't, they, don't, they don't need the high dot and the T cross for their wicked, godless, and humanistic. It is thus said the Lord God, turn or burn. Somebody help me here. I said, turn or burn. Turn unto God, or you burn in hell fire. Turn to God, or you taste the judgment and the wrath and the indignation of the Almighty God. Turn a burn. Bless you, Pastor Carter, Prophet Carter. I know you're watching. God bless you. Bless Chicago. Bless all my brethren abroad and watching and listening and praying and preaching with me. Bless you. God said, I will help. Hear me now. Hear me, church. Look at me, saints. The Lord said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man come preach with your preacher, if any woman, if any college graduate, if any young person hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with you and I will be your God and he shall be my children. Sit down a while I'm closing up. God won't break down your door to come in. He won't bulldoze your door or kick down your door. He's a gentleman. We have to ask God to come in we have to ask god to help us behold revelation tree behold i stand at the door and i knock if any man save any man hear my voice and open the door i will come into him and will sup with him and he will be my God and I will be his child. So hear me dear ones, I love you crazy. And we celebrate these precious moments. And we celebrate these, this precious time that we have together. Because shortly there will be no church. Shortly there will be no prayer meeting. Shortly there will be no fasting. Shortly there will be no gathering together of God's people. But we'll meet at the sweet hour of prayer. We'll meet at the blessed hour of prayer. They can't shut that door. They can't legislate that door. They can't stop that door. God said, I will meet with you. No, Lord. Turn me up, son. Take me out of the valley. No. Behold, the children of Ammon, 
and Moab and Mount Seir. Whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt. But they turned from them and destroy them not. The person whom you feed. I'm going to bold your stump now. The people who you give drinks. The people who you pray for. The people who you intercede for. The people who you go to God and beseech God to have mercy have turned their backs. Come on, church. Your neighbor whom you sent over Sunday dinner for. Your neighbor, your neighbor who you buy shoes and dress and blouse and under for. The Moabites, the Ammonites, and the children of Mount Seir have come down to destroy me. Your enemy, I'm telling you, your enemy shall be that of your own household. The person who you eat and drink with, the, pe the person who you bring lunch for, the person who you help when they don't got no money. They are the ones that will come up against you. To destroy you. And to defeat you. But there is a God in heaven. That sits high. And he looks low. He is my God. Somebody praise him. Behold, they say, or oh, they reward us to come and cast out our possession which thou hast given us. Second Chronicles 12, 20 verse 11. And God said, I'm going to talk now. Brother Gigi winding up on revival time. God said, I'm going to talk now. I'm going to speak. My time to speak. Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor it's God's time to speak. And God found a little Helda, the son of Jehaziel, the son of Zachariah. Come on, somebody. The son of Benaiah, the son of Jehiel, the son of of Mathaniah. My God, you're talking to me. And he was a Levite. The son of Asaph. Came the spirit. Of the Lord God. In the midst. Stand with me. Of the congregation. Saints of the most high God. God will speak. Woman as a stand up. God will speak in this hour. God will talk in this hour. God will reveal himself unto his people in this hour. Give him a praise. Put a praise on it. Put a praise on it. God will talk to his church to his anointed handpick his anointed sons and daughters in the shower God is not helpless and hopeless God is present with us God is here with us God will answer us God will speak to us God will talk to me God will address me somebody put a praise on it Help me God. All is not lost. I say all is not lost. All is not hopeless. We're not going under. We're going over. All is not darkness. All is not gloominess. God is going miraculously. And supernaturally. Look after his people. I say his people. 
I say his people. I say his people. God will feed you like he fed Elijah. God will look after you like he look after Elisha. God will look after you like he look after the Shunammite woman. God will look after you like he look after the woman of Zarephath. So Lord, look after me. God will keep your shoes steady for 40 years they never change shoes I'm going to preach here for 40 years they never change clothes yes the God that split the Red Sea open the God that brought water out of the rocks the God that talked by lightning and thunder from Horeb he is still here today he is my God thou art my God and I will praise you thou art my God I will exhort thee oh give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy endure it forever let the redeemed of the Lord say so who may out redeem out of the hand of the enemy put a praise on it put a worship on it God is with us the God of Jacob is our refuge and God said I'm going to talk here Thus said the Lord. Hearken to me. Listen to God. Jamaica, listen to God. Hearken to God. Ye all, listen to God, all Judah. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And thou king Jehoshaphat. He talks to the prime minister who lead the nation. Listen to me. Thus said the Lord God. You shall not be not afraid. Peace be unto you. Fear not. Judges 623. Ye shall not die. Say it with me. Peace be unto you. Fear not, be not afraid, be not afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, of this epidemic, pandemic, plague, virus, this uncircumcised Philistines that defy the army of God. Judges 623. Read it for me quickly. Psalm 118 verse 17 I shall not die lift up your hand and declare over yourself during the days of pandemic and epidemic and virus you shall not die declare over yourself I shall not die but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord say that one more time brother you're gone to sleep but I'm under the Holy Ghost anointing I shall not die say it out you shall not die but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord shout amen shout amen God has spoken let the church say amen God has spoken
God said, I'm going to take care of this. Come on, somebody. If I can't fix it, nobody can. You don't need a hope, your man, a witch or a sorcerer. I, the Lord God, will fix it. Somebody open up your mouth with Brother Jesus and say, God, fix it. You can fix it. You will fix it. If you can't fix it, nobody can. Somebody put a praise on it, woman. Sit down there in your office. I'm talking to you. If God can't fix your trouble, nobody can. If God can't fix Spanish Town, no police can. No soldier can. Woman, you think it's an easy message I'm preaching today. You better go back and look on it when we finish and hear what God said to you. He said, this battle are you ready for me now? This battle that you're facing in your home, that you're facing in the nation, Chester Cooper, that you're facing in the country, this battle is not an ordinary battle. This battle is not an easy battle. And furthermore, said the Lord, the battle is not yours. It's mine. It's mine. Woman, you could talk till your tongue, you swallow your tongue. You can't handle that. That devil that rise up against you. That diabolical setup that is set up against you. That diabolical scheme that is set up to wipe you out. Lift up your hand. Say today. Say it out today. There will be no conclusion. Until we are favored. Say there will be no hand. There will be no hand. Pray like you're praying. I'm giving you a prayer. There will be no hand. Until you're given your rightful place. Tell the Lord there will be no hand. Until I'm given my rightful place. Shout unto the Lord. There shall be no decision, no decision taken until you have received your portion. Pray it after me, I give you that there shall be no decision taken until I'm given my portion. Now pray it out. Up your hands unto the Lord, woman. I shall pray in the spirit, pray in faith. Nothing will end except God. Turn it, turn it around to work for me. Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord come on woman thoughts of peace put your hand right here 
you stand up like a scapegoat and you're not praying in the spirit you don't know where I'm going to force a peace and not of evil to give you an expected end tell the Lord I need an expected end put a praise on it and a worship so hear my cry oh God attend unto my prayer one more time hear my cry for Jamaica land for America hear my cry oh God attend unto my prayer from the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is over when lead me to the rock that is higher than I today I pray for little Joel in Florida 12 years old he's in a wheelchair his body is twisted and broken I pray for little Joel today that God would touch him come pray with me say God touch him I don't hear you praying out loud say God touch little Joel today touch his mother expecting twins touch his mother expecting twins touch his father touch their house come on somebody help the bishop pray right now touch their family touch their house touch their children touch the unborn touch them I pray for my sister in New Jersey today. Troubled and afraid. Oh, most high God. Touch your daughter. Touch your daughter in New Jersey. Loose deliverance over her. Take away the spirit of fear. Let faith come alive in her heart. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My direct number is 876-51-triple-1. My direct number is 876-571-3777. That's 571-377. My prayer line is 984-4398. My helpline is 865-4358. That's eight six five four three five eight. Say help, Lord. Until next week, or you can email me revival time seven zero at hotmail dot com. That's revival time seven zero at hotmail dot com. Remember to help me at revival at uh, RTM Global dot org. That's RTM Global. That talk. Lift your hands. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace in Christ's mighty name. Until next week at the same time, through the auspices of these great stations that bring you revival time. Your man of God, Brother Jesus, thanking you for being with me in Christ's name. Amen.